This video is to understand combustion setup on the Omnitherm boilers. This video is intended for licensed contractors only. We'll start by removing the front cover. Currently I've taken the left side off for the video so you can see the access to check incoming gas pressure. So non-CSD1 you will have the test plug as shown. Uh, taken the plug out with a 3 16 Allen wrench and inserted a barb. You can now hook up your manometer to check incoming gas pressure. Now on this particular boiler, which was a boiler produced for the training room, the block union is facing towards the back. In the field, you may have that test plug on the top of the block union. With CSD1, you'll have a pressure tap right here on the top of the T-fitting. The Omnitherm uses two displays for combustion setup. The link display would be used to maybe increase your set point to keep the boiler running longer. And also you would choose fan speeds or RPMs so we could check combustion at multiple points. Now also, we have a gas valve display. And that gas valve display is located under the lower cover door. Now most people are familiar with setting up combustion where you'll give the boiler an RPM or fan speed. In my example, I'll use high fire or low fire. And then to dial in your CO2, you would use a screwdriver or an Allen wrench to dial in the gas valve. With the Omnitherm, we use a digital display to dial that in. To do combustion setup, the boiler must be powered for one hour prior to combustion setup. That does not mean the boiler needs to be running, it just needs to be powered up. There is a heater in the farm mod that needs to be energized. Okay, we'll start with logging into the link display. From the home screen, click the padlock symbol, type in 17, enter. You'll see your padlock now is unlocked with the letter I for installer. Go to configure. Here, choose firing rate. It will be disabled when you get to this point under firing rate control, so click enable, click OK. Next, just below that, is timeout, and that's how long we'll be able to stay in combustion setup. And this is in seconds, and that's about 20 minutes. Back that out, type in the maximum here of 3600, and that will give you an hour to complete combustion setup. Next, we'll go to fan speed. And here's our range, um, 850 RPMs up to 5400 RPMs. High fire or set max will be 5400. Min fire or low fire, we recommend and want to see that at 1000 RPMs. So we're going to back this out and type in 1000, click enter, and that will be our low fire. Now, if we subtract 1,000 from 5,400, that gives you 4,400 RPMs. We want to see 10 points for combustion here. So if I divide that 4,400 by 9 remaining points, that's 488 RPMs. And we can round that off. So example, low fire will be 1,000 RPMs. My next point would be 1,500. Point three or P3 will be 2,000, etc., and will increase by 500 RPMs. We're going to go down to the gas valve display. Here on the home screen, I'm going to click valve one. Over here, I'm going to choose setup and test. And next, I'll choose the fourth option over: fuel, air, ratio, and ignition. A warning label comes up. Read the warning. If you agree to the warning, click understand and agree. Now we're on the summary screen. To make adjustments, choose correction curve. Your login will appear and you'll have to type in the login password. Click on the box. The password is capital L for Lars, capital O for Omni 2018. So it's Lars OMT 2018. You'll have to capitalize two letters. First letter is L. I'll go back, uncapitalize it, choose AARS, capital O for Omni, 
MT2018. Now, before you click save, there's an I symbol right here in the top right corner of your screen. Press on that and confirm you typed in the correct letters. Capital L for Lars, capital O for Omni, and again, that's OMT 2018. Click save. Click log in again and be patient. It will log in for you. The login's okay. Our next screen will come up. And here is a screenshot of the gas valve display under correction curve. And you'll see a blue line with multiple points. And those points are the gas valve positions. And we'll want to go into each point and check combustion. Now, your first point is low fire or set min fire. Your last point is high fire or set max fire. And your points in between are generic points. So again, we'll check at each point combustion or CO2. We want to see 10 points for combustion here. Now, when the boiler is running, you'll see a red line appear, and that indicates air pressure. It will give our boiler a call for heat. So with that, we're going to come back to the Lars link. While we're waiting for the boiler to fire, we're in pre-purge. I only have a set point of 145. Keep in mind, you may want to elevate that set point to 180. If you have outdoor reset, enable, disable outdoor reset. That way you can keep the boiler running more. Right now we're in pre-purge, we'll go into ignition and then run. Okay, so we're running and where our target rate is 23%, uh, the actual rate is 40, it's going to start to modulate down. So let's go back to the gas valve display. And again, I explained that this is the gas point positioning. The red line is your air line. So we're going to wait till that comes down to 1,000 RPMs, or set min, and we're going to check our combustion. Now, here is the combustion chart, and now we'll look at our combustion. So on our chart, uh, our air temperature here in the training room is about 70 degrees, so we're looking for 8.5% CO2, and we're there. Let's say you were running higher or lower and you had to make a change. Here on the red air line, you would click start point commissioning. And when you do, an X would appear. So if I had to increase or lean, rich it up or lean it out, I can. Simply by dropping my value. And you'll see the X drop down on the air indicator line. For my example, I'm going to bring it back up because I was right on, and I will click save in a second. Anytime you click start point commissioning, that X will appear, and you will have to save it. So I'm going to bring that back to where we were, which gave me 8.5%, and this is going to be set min. This is our low point. Even though we have a point below it, I'll show you how to delete that. Um, so again, this is a thousand RPMs, that's your min fire. We're going to click set min. It's going to come up asking you if you want to definitely save this. Click yes, and you'll see this save. All right, so that's set min. Uh, now that we're done, we want to go in. Again, we want to set 10 points. We're going to go back to the link display, and I'm going to go back to configuration, firing rate fan speed. I'm going to back this out and I'm going to type in 1500. So again, I'm going to add 500 RPMs to my, uh, for my next point. Coming back down to our gas valve display, let that modulate up, be patient with your analyzer, and again, we're looking for 8.5% CO2 in our... So here we're at 8.5. Again, if you had to make a change, click Start Point Commissioning, your rich and lean lines would become available, and then you could save it. Now, keep in mind, these middle points are going to be generic points. So, I do want to create a new point and save it, so I will click Start Point Commissioning, and here I'm going to add generic. Now, again, I'm running at roughly 8586. I could rich or lean those out a little bit if I cared to, and I'm going to add generic point. So there's my P2. Okay, So we now have set min fire in P2. 
Next, we'll go back to the link display, and up here we'll add another 500 RPMs, which will bring us to 2,000 RPMs. Save it. Go back to your gas valve display and wait for the air indicator line to come up on the fuel line and we'll create a new point. So here um, we have roughly 8.5 percent. Again, if you need to rich or lean it out, we do have to go to start point commissioning and you can rich or lean that out with your red X. This is also going to be a generic point. And if you look, there's another point just before it. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to save this. We may end up with two points very close to each other. I'm going to click OK. And that actually allowed me to move that point. If I had multiple points here, an example of that, let me just show you an example. So in this example, I added an additional point um, just to show this, and again, I have set min, P1, P2. You can delete one of these very simply by going to deletion. Click select one and choose which point you want to delete. In this example, let's say I want to delete point three. It's going to highlight for you right there on the screen. If that's the point you want to delete, very simply click delete single, and that point will go away. Now anytime you delete, you need to go back to the addition, because keep in mind we're adding more points here. So we have set min P2, P3. So my next point is going to be 2500 RPMs. And we'll be patient and wait for our air indicator line to come up on the fuel line. So here we are at 2500, we're dialed in. Again, if you have to, um, click Start Point Commissioning and change it. To add another point, we have to click Start Point Commissioning. Again, this is gonna be another generic point. Add generic, it will come up, and we will now have four points, and we're gonna continue this process. Um, I'm gonna go back to my link display. I'm gonna choose 3000 RPMs wait for my indicator to come on, be patient with my analyzer, make sure we're around 8.5% CO2. In our example, go by your temperature, obviously, of combustion air coming in. If you're dialed in, just click Start Point Commissioning. We're going to add another generic point. So here we have another point that just appeared beside it. So my one, two, three, four, the sixth point I want to delete. Go to deletion, select one, P6, highlight it. If that's your correct point to delete, click delete. Now go back to addition, come back to your Lars link, and increase your fan speed again, or RPM. I'm going to go to 3500. So here's our next point. We're dialed in, and I will save that one as generic. I will then go back to my link display, and I'll increase to 4,000 RPMs. Wait for my indicator line to come up. Check your analyzer. Again, we click Start Point Commissioning. And I'll save this as a generic as well. If a second point comes up, we will delete that. And there is one there. So let's go to deletion. Choose one. Count over. One or set min. P2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's my ninth point. We highlighted it, delete it. Go back to your link display. We're going to choose 5,000 RPMs. Don't forget to click Addition. I'm going to let that fan speed come up to 5,000 RPMs, which will be P9 or 0.9. Check your analyzer. Click Start Point Commissioning. Add Generic. Now the last point will be 5,400. That's close enough to 5,000. We don't have. We can't go to 55. Um, I'm going to back that out. 5400, enter, go back to your gas valve display, 
and wait for your indicator line to come up. Now keep in mind, that is set max, that's not a set generic. So I'm going to click start point commissioning, check my combustion, and right here is set max. Press set max, click yes, and if we have an additional point, we're going to get rid of that, but it will pull it over because it was set max. Your combustion is now complete. Go back to the link display, choose burner enable, and disable it. Go back to your home screen and let the boiler modulate to where it needs to be. Once you're completed with your 10 points, come up here to load and save. Here is the file name. You can actually type in what you want. I'll back this out. So I'll pick the date. I'll say it's September 25th. 2021 and click save. Come back to here and save this to file. And here is your saved new points. Next, come up here to ignition. Anytime you change your correction curve, you have to record the new ignition air level. So here we'll check mark it. However, you do have to interrupt your TT call or your call for heat and then re-enable it so the boiler will acknowledge the new recorded air level. So an example of that is I've check marked it and if I come home you'll see I do have a fault present and it's because I did not interrupt my call for heat and that is error code 60 which is the far mod light off is not commissions. So what we're going to do is now we'll interrupt the call for heat give it a call for heat and let the boiler record the new ignition air level. If you have any technical questions, please contact the factory at 1-800-900-9276. Thank you.